All right, so today we are gonna be doing a full uh, breakdown and review of the upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings for the Biz Super Vegito, as well as the STR Super Boo. And uh, before we get into it, one thing that I will say is that if you were to compare the two, there is definitely a clear winner, you know, as far as which EZA is better. Uh, I'm not going to say which one right now, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so with that said, let's start with the uh, Fizz Vegito first. And uh, before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Majin Buu Saga, key plus 3. HP and defense plus 170% and attack plus 130%. Super attack, immense damage and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. And the passive is damage received from normal attacks minus 50% and counters with tremendous power plus an additional attack plus 10% with each attack received up to 100%. So as you can see, uh, he basically just had no defense at all right there's no defense on the super no defense on the passive there is the you know nice damage reduction on normals but that's it right if he took a super uh you were basically dead right so with the extremes the awakening now his leader skill becomes majin busaga key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent super attack immense damage and raises allies attack and defense by 30 percent for one turn and passive is damage received from normal attacks minus 80% up from 50% so now he's going to be taking even less damage from normals because before with the 50% damage reduction he would still take a good amount of damage from like you know harder enemies from enemies that hit really hard right even with the 50% damage reduction the normals can still get through sometimes and uh you know hit you pretty hard right so now with 80 percent damage reduction you're basically taking no damage well not no damage but very very little damage from normals and uh, counters with tremendous power and then defense plus 150 percent to start which is obviously nice and then attack plus 20 percent with each attack received up to 120 percent medium chance of performing a critical hit so that's nice because you want to get as many crits as possible on those counters to deal as much damage as possible, right? So, um, yeah, getting the 30% built in for crit chance is good. Uh, key plus 1 up to 3, defense plus 90% up to, or sorry, defense plus 30% up to 90%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% up to 30%. Every time the character receives an attack three times in battle. So <clears throat> the way that I understand this is that basically you're getting one stack of the key defense and crit every three hits you take, right? So to fully build up this defense and crit chance and key, you need to take nine hits, which is a lot of hits. But I guess in theory, because you're putting him in front of so many attacks for the counters, it shouldn't take a crazy long time, like maybe, you know, uh, three to four appearances on average, right, for him to get the full stack. So that would be like six, seven turns, maybe eight turns, which uh, seems like a lot. But in longer events, it's not going to be too bad, I guess. But in shorter events, uh, you probably will have trouble fully building up this part of his, pa uh, of his passive, right? But once he's fully built up, he's going to be getting... I guess 60% chance to crit and also uh, yeah 90% more defense and the extra three key is you know maybe not necessary but good to have so uh, yeah that is the passive for the super Vegito uh, as far as his stats go uh, they actually don't post the max stats here which is pretty interesting sometimes they I mean usually they do but sometimes I guess they don't but uh, nonetheless he should be looking at around like 20,000 HP, uh, probably close to 20,000 attack, maybe like 18 to 19k, and then defense should be, I would guess, like 12 to 13k. So he's gonna have good stats for sure, no question about that. And um, yeah, let's talk about this EZ8, right? Because generally speaking, based on the at least early reactions, the immediate reactions from the community, 
people are not happy with this easy a and uh i can understand why i can understand why um the problem is that he's an easy a that's coming out in 2023 um after you know units like uh str coolers easy a or uh lr rose and zamasu uh agl lr gohan intel Arcel, and so on and so forth just easy a's recently have been very very impressive right so this guy in comparison um kind of falls short he kind of falls short i mean it's good that now he has some defense on his passive right he does get the 150 here and then up to 90 percent here but but even when fully built up he's most likely not going to be tanky enough to take a super in uh most red zone events and obviously the cell max event in uh just you know <clears throat> a lot of events where the boss hits harder than your average enemy right um he's still not going to be good at taking taking supers uh he's obviously better but i think there's a decent chance you can still get one shot by a lot of bosses uh in the harder stages right so that's a problem um the damage reduction on the normals to 80 percent now is good um it definitely makes you feel safer about putting him in front of like a ton of attacks um so no complaints about that definitely um his his super attack damage like his attack stats uh to start in a in an event in a, in a fight is going to be very low right he's probably going to start with like maybe two mil attack right before he builds up and once he's fully built up um you know they will be more impressive but i think his attack stats still won't be crazy high but you got to keep in mind that he does you know get a lot of counters in theory if you put him in front of a lot of attacks right so with the counters um i think his overall damage output will still be quite good um but yeah the defense is just not great the defense is not great i love a lot of parts of this of this passive i love a lot of parts of this um of this kit this easy eight right i mean getting up to like 60 percent crit chance is amazing that means more often than not even without any hidden potential investment he's going to be critting more than he's not critting when fully built up but i do think it takes a little bit too long to build up this part of this passive too like as i said it takes nine turns i mean or sorry uh nine hits right which um you're not always going to be able to get um, especially on events like Super Battle Road or, you know, shorter length events, right? Uh, so that is kind of a problem, I think. Um, if they made it easier to build up this part, I think that would have been better as well. So uh, I just think the design was not the best thought out. I think it could have been a lot better. And um, it's just kind of like a meh easy a as a whole at least by today's standards right if this came out like a year and a half two years ago or maybe even a year ago i'm not sure but i think uh, the reaction would have been a lot more positive but it just feels like uh this is not good enough for today's standards right with the rate that like events are getting harder with the rate that like enemies are hitting you know harder and harder doing more damage um, you need more defense in this, right? When it, when it comes to like the ability to take super attacks. I mean, what's? Yeah, I'm not gonna say like what's the point of like being able to take normals if you get one shot by a super, but nonetheless, being being one shot by supers is, is not fun, right? So um, as a whole, I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm not saying it's like really bad easy a by any means. I just think that it, it's just okay. It's just okay. So that is the Fizz Super Vegito. Now let's move on to <clears throat> the Super Boo. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like they didn't update his EZA details on the um, on the Dokkan Wiki, which is very unfortunate. But we can do a comparison with the Dokkan Wiki. And the translations on Twitter by Minato's Flash. So a big shout out to Minato's Flash and thank you for providing us with these translations. And I'll start with the pre-EZA details for Super Boo first. So 
Uh, leader skill, transformation boost, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense, plus 150. Or STR, extreme STR types, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense, plus 90%. Super attack, uh, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense, plus 80%. Transforms into a specific form when conditions are met. So essentially, there are three transformations, um, and they all happen on the fifth turn from start of battle okay so uh by the fifth turn if your hp is 49 percent or below you become boo piccolo or bucolo or boo Icolo, whatever you want to call him if your hp is between 50 percent and 79 percent then you become a boo tanks and then if your hp is between 80 percent and 100 percent then you become a boo han and uh, i will say this right now before the eza boo tanks was the worst transformation and after the easy a it's much better but it's still in my opinion the worst transformation of the three so um if you are running boo uh super boo in your rotations uh you want to try to make sure you're either you know very low on hp below 49 percent or you're high on hp between 80 and 100 percent because this boo tanks transformation uh once again is not like really bad but it's not as ideal as the other two. So let's pop over to the uh, translations now from Minato's Flash once again. So starting with the Super Boo, uh, with the EZA, his new leader, new leader skill becomes Transformation Boost, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Extreme STR types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, his super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, it causes immense damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And his passive is key plus one, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional defense plus 120% based on HP remaining. The greater, uh, the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, and then attack and defense plus 60% when attacking, and defense plus 60% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Transforms when conditions are met so <clears throat> what i really like about this um passive uh, after these yay is the fact that he does get a good amount of defense he's not going to be like a defensive juggernaut by any means but he does get a good amount of defense and um yeah you know it's still kind of basic but you know the whole point of this unit is that uh, you want to get him to that fifth turn to get one of those transformations that makes him much much better right so you know when you're comparing him to very easy A where he's getting only attack and defense plus 80% and nothing else. That is definitely a very big improvement. Uh, but nothing that impressive right now, right? Like Super Boo is just whatever. He's just okay. Now let's move on to... <clears throat> Sorry, man. I feel like I have something stuck in my throat. I just had breakfast and... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's weird. Anyways, uh, let's do... Let's see, we could go in the order he posted them in, or we can go in order of, like, the HP restriction. You know what, let's go with the HP restriction. Let's start with the, um, Boo Piccolo first, right? Let's do Boo Piccolo, Boo Piccolo. Okay, so, Boo Piccolo, which, once again, you transform into once you are on turn 5, and your HP is 49% or below, right? So his 12k super massively raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage and his passive recovers 20% HP at the start of turn. Now this is compared to, let's see, uh, this is compared to 15% at start of turn. And then you get attack and defense plus 140%, all allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 40% reduces damage received by 50% as the first or second attacker in the turn, plus an additional defense plus 60%, all allies attack plus 40%, and 8% chance to perform a critical hit as the third attacker in the turn. Recovers 10% HP at the end of turn for 6 turns after first appearance. Boo Piccolo, Bucolo is incredible. He is so damn good. The 50% damage reduction as the first or second attacker is going to make him an amazing tank. And then, uh, of course, if you want to put him in that third slot, which I wouldn't necessarily do because 
you do lose the damage reduction, but if you want to put him in the third slot, he becomes an amazing support. He's giving allies key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% and then 8% chance to crit as well. So yeah, there's just a lot to love about this about this Poo Piccolo form. He is possibly the most impressive of the three. Um, I mean, Boo Tanks, or sorry, Boo Han is very good as well, but just for the defense alone, man, I think uh, this guy, and also the healing, don't forget about the healing, 20% re uh, recovery at the beginning of the turn is also huge. So, wait, hold on. Uh, oh, 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 he also recovers, yeah, he also recovers 10% HP at the end of turn as well, right? So like, He's just healing you a ton, he's keeping you alive, he's keeping you alive by not taking damage too, so... Um, yeah, it's just awesome. It's really, really impressive. Now we're gonna move on to the Boo Tanks, which once again, like I said, is... You know, pretty pretty clearly the worst of the three. And uh, his super attack, immense damage, seal super attack, and lowers attack and defense and then recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. He plus one, attack plus 180%, and defense plus 140%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when attacking, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when target enemy is in attack down or defense down status. He plus one, defense plus 80%, and great chance to perform an additional super attack for six turns from first appearance. So as I said before, man, he's not bad by any means. He's just, um... A little basic, a little basic, like he, he just gets the attack and defense, um, a good amount of it, um, you know, he's not like gonna be nearly as tanky as uh, Boo Piccolo, he's not gonna be hitting as hard, I'm pretty sure, as the Boo Han, I think, and uh, I guess he's kind of like an in-between, which I, I guess would make sense, right, he's kind of like an in-between between the two, um, but yeah, uh, once again, I mean, for the most part, if you can, if you can control it, I would try to get the Buhan transformation or the Boo Piccolo transformation over the Boo Tanks. But no, there's nothing wrong with his passive. I think it's just fine. It's just a lot of like solid buffs. And, um, you know, the, the super attack effect, actually, the ceiling and also the lowering of attack and defense can actually be very effective or very useful in Super Battle Road. So. Uh, there you go, that is the Boo Tanks, and lastly we have Boo Han. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for 3 turns, it causes immense damage, and passive is recovers 12% HP at the start of turn, key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional defense plus 120% based on remaining HP, more HP remaining, greater the defense boost, attack plus 80% uh, when attacking, performs an additional attack, it has a high chance to become a super attack and great chance to guard all attacks for six turns from first appearance and high chance to guard all attacks for, for the seventh turn or from the seventh turn from the start of battle. So uh, essentially, uh, yeah, he's going to be hitting pretty hard. Um, the greatly raising, greatly stacking attack and defense for three turns. It's going to help a lot with that. And he's getting a lot of defense too. So he should be able to you know, at least tank a little bit, right? And then, um, you know, the high chance for additional super attack, the 70% chance to guard for six turns. Um, the guard is, is gonna be huge as well. Guard makes a big, big difference in a unit's, you know, ability to take damage, right? His, their defensive capabilities. So, um, yeah, just a very well-rounded form right there. He does uh, offense and defense both very well, I guess, is a way to put it. Um, and yeah, yeah, Boo, Boo Han is is very good as well. So as a whole, as a whole, I will say, I wasn't expecting this from from Super Boo. I thought that between the two, Vegeta would be the one to, you know, get the amazing, you know, mind blowing, busted Extreme Z Awakening and. Uh, Super Boo would be the one to maybe get a little bit shafted, but it's kind of reversed, you know, and I'm not gonna say like this guy is like Blowing my mind or anything like that. Um, I just think he's really good. I think he's really really good It's a big surprise that he's as good as he is and uh, He's definitely like a top tier EZA. I think at this point 
you know, with these different forms. Even Boo Tanks is, is good, but Boo Piccolo and Boo Han especially are uh, up there, you know. So, Super Vegito, kind of disappointing, I will be honest, but, uh, hey, at least he's usable now. So, there's that. He's usable, and uh, Super Boo was definitely... Super Boo was a, was a nice surprise. So uh, that is the review, the breakdown. Those are my thoughts about these two Extreme Z Awakenings. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. How you guys uh, would evaluate them, I guess. And uh, which one do you think is, is better between the two? I think most people would agree that Super Boo is superior, but maybe you have a different perspective on these units. Maybe you see things a little bit differently and that's cool too. So feel free to leave those. Uh, ideas or or uh, I don't know analyses I guess in the comments and uh, that's all I gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new my music just stopped uh, oh we ran out of music okay let's just play something random like LR Trunks and Vegeta uh, yeah, uh, like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.